guys welcome to this video on railways group d preparation tips as you all know railways this year is going to recruit for 62907 vacancies in the group d post so if you are a first time examinee who is going to give this group d exam for the first time then this video is going to be really helpful to you let's quickly jump into the basics so uh, beginning with your preparation you should begin your preparation with knowing the exam pattern in detail as you all know is in this case there are four subjects that you will have to uh, give the exam for first is mathematics followed by general science general uh, awareness as well as general intelligence and reasoning so you will have to appear for this exam in 90 minutes with 100 questions at stake so knowing the exam pattern is going to help you in your preparation as when you know the exam pattern very nicely then you are confident in your preparations uh, coming to the next topic that is knowing the basic details of the exam so as you all know in the group D examination you you have an online computer based test which is objective based so it is very important for you to know that it is objective based as well as you have one third negative marking in the examination knowing these basic details is very important so that you are not confused in your preparation and you prepare accordingly also you should know the stages of the examination like uh, in this group D examination the stages are First stage is the computer based followed by a physical efficiency test and then a document verification. So knowing the minute details of your examination is the key. Coming to the next topic that is syllabus. So it is very important that you know the syllabus very carefully and by heart. Uh, the key to knowing the syllabus is knowing what are the topics that are going to come that is the subtopics in each section along with knowing the weightage of each subtopic and knowing the difficulty level. Knowing the syllabus by heart is going to help you in your preparation so that you don't have to look back in the syllabus. You have to continuously go on in your preparation. So coming to the next tip that is you have to make your own notes. There are various tutors who are going to give you a study material and promise you that this study material is going to help you clear the examination. But you ha don't have to follow that. You have to follow your own notes. Making your own notes is very important as when you write down your material or your study notes, it is going to help you memorize the notes. So that is going to help you in your preparation ahead and you don't have to waste much time in memorizing it. Coming to the next topic, you have to do your time management. So. Now that you have your exam pattern on hand, you know the minute details of the examination along with having the syllabus and your own notes, it is important that you manage your time. A lot of you guys are either employed individuals or students, so you don't have a lot of time in your hands. So planning your time adequately and planning your time very meticulously is really important when you're preparing for such railways government exams. So having a time frame is really important. Also one note that if you are giving your time to your difficult subjects and giving less time to your easier subjects is going to help you a lot in the future. So these were time management tips that you need to follow. Coming to now that you have managed your time better and you have started your preparation, you have to take online tests. As you all know, the uh, railways exam is going to be conducted online. So it is important that you practice online. Various platforms provide you online mock tests like testbook.com so you can go to testbook.com and take various online mock tests for railways examination and give your online mock tests and check for your preparation as to how pre how good you are preparing in your online online exam coming now that you've done your online mock test preparations you've taken various tests you know that speed and accuracy is where the game is once you are taking your online mock tests you can see Everything depends upon your speed and your accuracy. You have 90 minutes to solve 100 questions. So it is very important that you be very quick and accurate with your answers. Accuracy is also important because there is one third negative marking. So you cannot just go randomly answering questions that you are not confident of. You have to be accurate in them. So now that you have started your preparation and taking online mock tests, you should also concentrate on speed and accuracy. Coming to the last point that is previous year papers. Now, uh, as you all know, it is online now, uh, the exam is going to be conducted online. So it is also important that you learn and know and read the previous question papers. This will help you know what kind of questions were asked previously and what kind of language is used in the question. So that when you actually see the paper, you are not going to get confused or you don't get scared. So knowing the previous question papers is also important. So these were some of the tips that you are required to know while you're preparing for the railways exam. 
If you want to know more about the syllabus, the preparation tips for maths, reasoning, general awareness and general science, then don't forget to check the description below. Also find the link to the detailed syllabus in the description below. Don't forget to visit Testbook's blog and subscribe to Testbook's YouTube channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching and all the best.